Hey everybody, it's Mordecai and Tony with the Mordecai and Tony Show. Uh, today's topic is going to be um, what is acting white? What is acting white? Now, I put this off for like three or four days because I either ate and got tired or just didn't feel like doing it. But what is acting white? I know what acting white is. My definition of uh, <laughs> acting white is a. Uh, what is your opinion, Tony, on when someone says you're acting white? Um, I don't know. Um, my definition of acting white is. Oh, I'm like, oh my God, I'm like going <laughs> to, I want to go to the mall and I got to buy these pair of shoes. And that's my definition of acting white. Or is it just a little bit more <laughs> or, over, over properness? Oh, yeah. Over properness. So the reason why I did this video is because I've always been told all of my life that, um, that either I act white or I'm trying to be white. And that is so not true. Tony, how much do I love black people? Way too much. And how much do I... <laughs> And how much do I love being black? Way too much. Okay. So, like, if you think you know me, you really don't. And I know, am I a conundrum? Is that a white word? <laughs> <laughs> you threw me for a loop. Am I a conundrum? <laughs> right. So, but, okay. When people say you're acting white, uh, or, and it, it, trust me, I've rarely, I've never heard a white person tell me that I was acting white. I've never heard of another, um, another ethnic group of people uh, say or tell me that I was acting white other than black people. And it's predominantly um, African Americans. I'm a black American. Um, so, and first of all, I'm black. Yes. I'm mixed Yes, but I'm black, and I mean, that's that's all it is to it. My father is from Guyana, South America, and my mother is from Kentucky. And my father is from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and my parents wanted to make sure that me and my brother were brought up with, Kentucky was considered the, basically the upper South. Um, I never considered it, uh, considered it the South. It's, it's above, uh, was it below the Missouri Compromise or below? Uh, it's, what is it? It's below the Missouri Compromise. I don't want to say the wrong thing. It's either above or below the Missouri Compromise. I haven't looked at that map in about 20 years. But it was considered a, um, it, it was considered a free state, but they kind of left it alone. So it did have some slavery, and then some people were free. My family happened to be free. But that doesn't even matter. I'm just... <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. But my parents just wanted to make sure that me and my brother were brought up with values as far as saying yes ma'am, no ma'am, thank you very much, uh, greeting someone in the proper manner. So that's still what I use to this day. What do you call me at work? You're a little oh. tired for me. <laughs> this um, old happy nigga at work. <laughs> Yes, and I am the happy nigga at work. I am. I'm like the Wayne Brady without all the singing. Um, and honestly, if what some people may call acting white or acting in a proper manner, first of all, I speak English. I live in America. So whether my father came from Guyana, South America, which at once was under British rule, um, that's English. And Kentucky is definitely English with an accent. But it's English. That's what I speak is English. That's what Tony speaks is at work. He speaks English now. He's, we both speak English at work. That's the national language of the United States of America is English. So that's what I speak. Plain, clear English. Understandable English. So, but... Someone had made a comment, and uh, I try not to be argumentative. I really do. I actually try to, um, I try to act dignified. Sometimes, you know, I let my little hair down, but 
a lot of times you try to act dignified. You get more flies with honey. So, but the um, the guy Jason Sims, he was one well, of the hair video. The hair videos only got 8,500 views. That's one of the lesser view uh, videos, but this one has only has 8,500 views. So out of the 8,500 views and the comments, this is the only negative comment. And uh, basically, he said, "Those, those ain't curls. Those are naps." The only thing I said back was, "Thank you very much. It's long, it's natural, and it's nappy, and I love it." And then he proceeded to call me a hoe ass nigga. <laughs> Proceeded to call me a whole ass nigga. I didn't respond back. I think I did a little, little emoji that was like this or something like that with a white girl. And then he said, uh, trying to be white. So that's one of the reasons why this video was made. Then also because of where we work at too. Now, the area that we work in, everyone knows, because I've said it plenty of times, is predominantly white. So can you imagine us trying to run our business here? Or trying to get proper service or trying to get taken care of seriously if we did not speak plain, clear English. Do you really think that? Like, what, Tony, do you think that? Mm -hmm. That we would be taken seriously if we didn't speak plain, clear mm -hmm. English? And you barely speak anyway, so I do all the talking because I'm the mouth of the motherfucking South. But, I talk. <laughs> I'm the mouth of the South. This is Penn and Teller right here. <laughs> but, you know, you say it's, you say it's acting white, but it's really not acting white. It's, it's, uh, it's speaking, speaking English. You know, I speak English. Um, so, is speaking white, is it speaking educated? You was asking me that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's just a question. I mean, it's just a plain <laughs> question. I mean, I don't get it. Can you turn it on and can you turn it off? I yes. Mean, in different situations. In different situations, you right. You know how to talk proper and when not to talk proper exactly. in different situations. Uh, and why act educated so you can be taken seriously? That's the way I see it. What about you? Mm -hmm. Is that the same uh, does it benefit us more acting white or acting educated? It benefits us more as acting educated. Now, look, I can get real ignorant, okay? I can, I can get ignorant. I just choose not to because it'll get me thrown in jail. And I'm not trying to get thrown in jail. I'm not trying to get shot. My little word that I hate about what white people say about black people is that Black people, when they find a proper speaking uh, African American, they say, "Oh, he's a very articulate guy." Oh, I'm like, yeah. you know, we speaking proper English like right. you. We don't say that you are very articulate by the way you speak. This so. woman asked me what time it was, and I told her it was 6:44. She said, "Oh, you fit in well here, don't you?" <laughs> I, no, she said I blended in well. She said, "Oh, you blended in here uh, well here, didn't you?" And I'm like, oh, "It's 6:44." Have a great day. You know, but I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just, it's trust me, trust me. For instance, my brother, right? My brother is very educated. He owns a business, and when me and it's just me and him in the car, I kid you not. Well, when I go home to visit, when it's just me and him, my brother just sounds so hood sometimes. And as soon as we pull up to get something to eat. Uh, yes, ma'am. Hello. I would like to get a large sweetened tea. Could I also... And you know, it's... it's. This is the third motherfucking take. <laughs> <laughs> it is the third take. But what I was saying was, like, if I'm not speaking plain, clear English, how am I supposed to speak? Am I supposed to speak... So what am I supposed to speak? Native American, like a Native American? Am I supposed to, supposed to speak like a Eastern European Jew? Am I supposed to speak East Asian like an East Asian? How am I supposed to speak other than plain, clear English and I live in America? That's the way it's supposed to be. I mean, there are no ifs, ands, 
or buts about it. Of course, everybody has an accent. I have an accent. I'm from Kentucky. But I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying. Don't make me get too into this shit. Look what I'm dressed like. Like I go to a charter school, bitch. <laughs> bitch. I don't think I go to a charter school. But yeah, it's just plain, clear English. I mean, that's all it really is to it. I mean, I don't know. Like, the video got messed up. <laughs> so, this is all I can really remember. But it's clear, plain English. That's all it is to it. It's nothing more. It's nothing less. And, you know, what's your name? Jason Sims. You know, it's okay. I could be a whole ass nigga. It's fine. I could be a bitch ass nigga. It's fine. But honey, I am Mordecai and I will always be Mordecai. And I will continue to speak clear, proper English. And Tony. I will continue speaking proper English myself. <laughs> All right. Well, I would like to thank everyone that has subscribed and also to everyone who has left a comment, whether it was a positive comment or a negative comment. I try to use more of my words, more of my plain, clear English today. Um, because, you know, how, and I don't know if I already said this, but how in the hell am I trying to act white doing a video on naturally, natural hair for black men? To get it to girl. Yeah, really? You know, they're going to come at you now because you just repeated. They're going to say, and this asshole don't even know what he said in his previous No, I it. don't because <laughs> the kid had a malfunction and it's okay. So I probably did already. Did I already say it? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, anyway. Okay. Well, this I'm is more. Little Flavor Earl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Little Flavor Earl. We love you so much. So, but anyway, I'm Mordecai. And Tony. And uh, this is the Mordecai and Tony Show, and thank y'all very much, and y'all have a great night. And I'm playing with rubber bands and shit, but um, anyway, y'all have a great night. Bye-bye.